So today I want to talk about how I got a job in Japan. Um, I did say in my very first video that I was going to have a section called Interacting with Interact and uh, Interact with Me. Um, after two warnings that I got um, from some comments um, from some kind people on some of the videos that I made, um, they let me know that it was not a good idea to mention the name of the company that I work for, um, to not use any tags for the company, the name of the company that I work for, etc. Um, mainly because, you know, larger companies like Interact do not like um, their employees to be vlogging um, because they can't control what they say. So they could be saying, you know, really negative things about the company, which is something that, you know, any company wouldn't like. And then on top of that, um, you know, from what I've heard, you know, being gay in Japan, uh, openly gay in Japan, especially with your coworkers, is not a good idea. So if I'm over here sitting talking about, you know, working for Interact and I'm gay and I'm talking about gay this and gay that, um, you know, if someone from Interact decides to search on YouTube and finds that I'm talking about all these gay things, you know, I don't know, maybe people are going to start um, putting the two together and think, oh my god, everyone that works for Interact is gay. Um, that's evil. So I don't want um, to get fired before I even move to Japan because I'm still here in my house in Illinois. Um, so let me go ahead and get started right away. Um, I want to talk about how I got a job in Japan. And um, I tried really, really, really hard. Um, I did start about three years ago um, with the JET program. So when I was about, I don't know, 18 or 19, I found out about the JET program and decided that as soon as I graduated college, I was going to apply uh, to the JET program because, you know, a bachelor's degree is required for actually all of these jobs. And um, I did. So as soon as I graduated college, I applied to the JET program. I had just got a new job at the company that I work for, uh, and I was kind of, you know, Actually, you know what? I didn't. Um, I waited two years um, after I graduated college um, to apply to the JET program because my supervisor, um, who I don't really care for, um, but at that time it was a good opportunity, a good learning opportunity for me to start in that department. Um, so he asked me if I could wait off because I told him that I did want to apply to the JET program. I was completely honest with him. And he asked me if um, I could wait off and wait about two years um, and then apply to the JET program. And I followed what he asked me to do. And um, I don't regret it because I did learn a lot. Um, I'm a system administrator um, in the IT office for a cell phone company. and it was a very good learning experience and I'm still learning things, I'm still in that department um, but I don't care for it anymore um, but anyway, so two years passed after I graduated college, I had my bachelor's degree I was working in a new job, it was exciting um, two years passed and then I started applying to the job program um, the first time I applied I got denied um, I know the reason why I got denied um, I'd rather not mention online um, um, actually I will um, so when I was 20 years old, about one month before I became 21, um, I was out drinking and I got caught. So I got arrested. And I had no idea that those kind of things stayed on your record forever. I just figured, uh, you know, it'll go away uh, at some point after like five years or so. Well, that's a very large misconception. They never go away. So if you've ever been arrested for something like that, it's not going to go away. Um, and part of the job applica or part of the job application for um, the JET program is to run a criminal background check. So I didn't know about that um, until I started, you know, really applying to the JET program. And at that point, it was too late. Um, I didn't have any time to expunge my criminal record, um, which means to you know remove that record from my past. Um, it's not a big deal to me, you know, it was just something stupid that happened, I got caught, whatever, um, you know, I'm not a drunk person, I'm not a drunkard, um, but I was 20, so I was, you know, I wanted to have fun, um, but it ended up, you know, biting me in the ass, um, so... 
Because I had to be completely upfront and honest with the JET program, of course I ran the criminal background check and of course it came up with you know that line saying that I had been um, caught drinking under the age. So I you know turned in my application that way. And it just so happens that that time um, the JET program had the highest amount of applicants ever. So I believe it was over 5,000. Um, so anybody who had any kind of, you know, criminal record or some stupid error on their application or was missing something, they didn't even consider. So I think they just grabbed my application and went like this. And then all the papers flew all over the office. <laughs> and now, um, so then, um, I mean, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to get in, but I was a little optimistic anyway. So because of that, um, of course, I didn't get an interview. So then I applied again, and by that time I had expunged my criminal record, and I no longer had a criminal record. I, I was a perfect little angel again. Um, but I think because I had applied the first time and they already had me on file as being a criminal, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe they saw my name again and said, Phew, and they threw my application in the air and the papers flew all over the office. Um, but, um, anyway, I didn't get the interview the second time around either. So, I was pretty upset, um, but, you know, what could you do? It was my fault, I made a mistake in my life, and whatever. Um, in a way, I think it kind of worked out because, um, let's say I would have gotten accepted to the job program, and then I was placed in, like, I don't know, Sendai or Fukushima, um, that would have probably not been a good idea. So I think things do happen for a reason, and I believe that I wasn't um, given a job with Entrac um, because, um, you know, of a reason. Sorry, my dog was, you know, going like this to me, so she wanted some attention. Um, so I, at that point, I decided that I was no longer going to move to Japan, and I bought a new car. Um, but then I was like, forget it, you know, it's always been my dream to go to Japan and teach English uh, and just work there. Um, so I ended up applying um, to a multiple amount of, of companies out there. And the JET program I didn't apply to again. Uh, the thing that sucks about the JET program is you can only apply once a year and you have to wait practically a year to find out anything, which is just annoying. Um, so what I ended up doing is I applied to Interact, Amity, Eon, and Peppy Kids Club. And I'm going to try my best to discuss how everything happened in the order that they happened. Um, and since I applied to so many companies, it's kind of blurry right now because I got a job with Interact and I pretty much, anything that happened before, I kind of erased because uh, I didn't care anymore. So the first thing that I did is I applied to all the companies. I made sure that I had an essay for every single one that was geared to that specific company. I had files for all the different companies or folders for all the different companies to, you know, hold all the paperwork for each one. And I had all my documents uh, organized as well on my computer. So I was as organized as possible. Um, I made sure that all my applications were filled perfectly and that I had no mistakes. I double checked everything. Um, and um, because of that, I was extremely success successful. I got an interview with every single one of the companies that I applied to. So the first interview that I had lined up was with Interact. Um, I'll do another video about the whole interview process. Um, but um, I had a great time at the interview. Um, all the people that I interviewed with were you know, really fun, good people. Um, so that's the first company that I went through the whole interview process. Um, then my next interview coming up was Amity. Um, and let me think real quick. Um, I believe I had applied to Peppy Kids Club after I applied to all these other companies. Um, and I ended up having a phone screen with Peppy Kids Club that went extremely well. I mean, I almost felt like... Um, the recruiter became like my best friend. Um, of course, we talked about all the things that she had questions for me about. And then we started talking about iPhones. We were talking in Japanese. Um, I mean, we were on the phone for a lot longer than I think she expected. And she was really, really excited uh, for me. And I almost felt like I had the job. 
and at that point, um, I, I pretty much decided that I was going to go for Peppy Kids Club because I had such an amazing experience with the recruiter. Um, but she said, you know, um, there is no guarantee that you're going to get the job, but I have a good feeling uh, for you, and I want to set up, um, you know, the in, the in-person interview, which was going to be, you know, a month or so um, in the future. Well, um, because that phone interview went so well, I decided that I was going to cancel my in person interview with Amity, which is what I did. Um, I canceled that interview, and Amity actually was the company that I was the most excited for because Amity paid the best, and um, I had made a pros and cons list for all the companies that I applied to, and Amity was at the top. Um, so I canceled Amity, then um, I was you know, getting prepared for my Peppy Kids Club interview, and I had pretty much decided that I was no longer going to go for Intrac. Um, and the reason why is because Intrac pays the least. And for me, that's extremely important because I have a mortgage payment that I'm going to continue to pay while I'm in Japan. Um, so obviously, pay is important to me. Um, but um, I got an email from Intrac, and it was a job offer. And I was... I had about, um, I think, a, a full 10 days to to reply to them and let them know if I was interested. Um, and my um, interview with Peppy Kids Club, my in-person interview, uh, was, was after those 10 days. So I was freaking out and I didn't know what to do because I was so excited that I actually got a job offer um, that I ended up canceling the Peppy Kids Club phone inter or um, in-person interview and I accepted the job with Intrac. So my Eon interview in the future I canceled completely and I never went to that. Um, so the only company that I applied to in-person for was Interac and um, I was this close to going to the in-person interview with um, Peppy Kids Club. So um, the reason why I went with Interac is because my dream was always to work for the JET program. Interact and the JET program are um, on the same level uh, because they are both uh, dispatch companies where I would be teaching at you know public schools as an assistant language teacher versus Amity, Eon, Peppy Kids Club. Um, there's also Berlitz, excuse me, and ECC. Um, of which I did not apply to, but I recommend that you apply to them because the more companies I, that you apply to, the better chance you get and the more opportunities you get to choose the company that you think fits your needs. So um, all of those companies, I call them fast food schools because they're businesses and they're in a shopping center where you'll find like a subway, a hair salon, um, a dry cleaner, and then Peppy Kids Club. And those kind of businesses are geared for people who want to learn English after school or after work. So, you know, you can guess that your schedule is going to be from like, um, sorry, noon to about 9 p.m. And you're definitely going to be working one day on the weekend. So that was the biggest turnoff for me um, for all of those fast food schools. So I ended up going f for Interact because of their regular human being schedule, 8 to 5, Monday to Friday, and it also, um, the vacation schedule mirrors that of the, of the students. So I get a lot of time off, um, I get a regular schedule, and um, I get to teach at a real public school, which is what I've always wanted to do. Um, so that is the, those are the main reasons why I went for Interact, even though it pays the least. But um, the reason why I was able to accept Interact is because um, they do pay enough to where I can still pay my mortgage uh, here in the United States. Um, I calculated all these things, um, and if I, you know, play with my money well enough, um, I can have enough money to pay my mortgage, all my bills, all everything that I need to pay, and still have a little bit of money left over to save. Um, because I've been working with, you know, the company that, that I'm at with right now for, you know nine years. Um, I have plenty of money saved up to where I'm not gonna be poor all of a sudden, um, but still, um, you know, I have to be very cautious with my money. Um, 
So that is how I got a job in Japan, and that is how I decided the company that I wanted to work for in Japan. 